Dominic D asks, uh, or, or please ask Billy D his memories of wrestling Bob Backlund and Hulk Hogan for the WWF Championship when he was the mass superstar. So obviously we'll stick with Hogan on that one. So I, I didn't realize you challenged Hogan. It must have been very early on. I think I had one of the early matches with him. Uh, I think that uh, I know we worked in Los Angeles, uh, maybe Chicago. There was two or three events that I had with him. But I was in the time frame at that time of trying to get my notice to leave the territory. And I had approached uh, Strongbow. I had approached four or five different, uh, because Vince didn't go to the house shows. So I'm giving my notice to four or five different, uh, Pat Patterson, Strongbow, uh, Rene Goulet, because I know it was three different matches that fine, because I'll do these, but I want to leave the territory because I was going back to Japan. I wasn't happy with the situation that was going on and nobody would take my notice. <laughs> so, so I finally went, I went home and I got a call from Vince. Where are you at? I said, I'm getting ready to go to Japan. Well, why? I said, I tried to give my notice three times. Nobody takes it. So I figured, well, I'm just going home. Same, same situation happened with Barry later when he gave his notice. So You were trying to give your notice to three different people in the WWF, you know, Pat or whoever else, mm -hmm. and you said you didn't like the situation there. Was it simply a money thing? It was a money thing. Uh, it was a uh, number of things, but I had options. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fortunately, I could always go to, literally, literally, I could get on the phone and call Inoki and say, when, when do you need me? And they would say, well, come next week, come two weeks. A lot of people didn't have that relationship. So why not take advantage of it? I could work Japan whenever I wanted. I could take six months, work Japan only. I could call Oli. I'll be in, uh, I'll be at home. Uh, and, and Wahoo McDaniel at that time was booking Florida. I could go to Florida, spend three weeks, go down there, take my family down for a vacation, paid holiday. So it was nice. Why did you continue to work full time then? Because obviously you had the great deal with Japan going and you go there back and forth for nearly 20 mm -hmm. years, as said. I mean, I don't know your financial situation, but I'm presuming you could have been making six figures only work in Japan 12, 15, 18 weeks a year. So how come you, oh, yeah. how come you continued working all the other territories as well? Well, I was asked to. <laughs> I was getting paid. <laughs> it's like it's like now, you know, 20 years later, we're still at these events and things. And then say, well, why do you do it? Well, why not do it? It's, it's, it's gravy money. It's free. You know, instead of taking that out of your bank account, like when we go to Florida, we, I usually book something in Florida, and unfortunately we'll go down and everything's paid. I take my family with me, so we enjoy it. Fair enough. 